Death by. Honestly. And he they injured, he like showed up to like I think he showed up to low tide. Mm-hmm. On a on, on, on a last minute decision, yeah, and still made top sixty four there. Yeah, <laughs> I think Tisby is one of those players that can go under the radar because mm -hmm. I feel like so many of his sets, like he upsets people and we don't know about it, and then like he'll lose the next round and doesn't go on stream or something like he yeah. just like completely disappears. It's like a ninja in the night just yeah, taking out seed, top seed. Is always like out placing where you put him and and you know making. And making I like those plays. kind of people. Yeah. I mean, Beastly used to be one of those. He he did used to be. And why before you know he's good now, because but by the time he was coming back post quarantine, it was a little wash, losing here and there. But I mean, we're getting Beastly in full form now. It seems. We are. We're getting Beastly, and he was also at Heartbeat Fire Four, got fifth. Yeah, I remember part of bracket where he was like, "I'm not even interested anymore. I'm just gonna be fighting DFW and like a top yeah. eight. Literally, I had to roll through Desley, Atomic. Uh, one other person. Yeah. I don't remember the other person. Yeah, but did really well. Got top eight. Got top eight. It's not a lot of people who could say, uh, I got to oh. go through losers. And they get yeah. top eight. Losing to Yanni and Z3. Yeah. That's pretty solid. Already applying a ton of damage. Very even game. Just by barely grabbing the ledge. What a grab. Yeah, opting for the Fox against Ike because, ooh, I was about to say, uh, Fox is light, but the, all that pressure he's going to put on Ike doesn't have the best like combo breaker. It's gonna be tough. It is rough. People are popping off in the background. I don't, yeah, know, I don't know what's happening. We got a melee up throw up there going on. Yeah, I don't know. We're. I, I don't think it's about this set because they're. Okay. Okay. Something about Burr, DJ Don. Burr, DJ Don. Because it's, it's like I was probably for DJ Don. DJ Don doesn't normally come out to Shockwaves. Shock he's usually Odyssey. Odyssey. But uh, he's a fan favorite. Everybody loves him. As they should. Yeah. People say that, you know, they don't like Steve Baines. People love people love Trey Five. People, people love, love players. Trey Dunn. They don't like Steve, but they love the players. Yeah. And foster your community. Oh. I think. I, uh, yeah. well, well, let's worry about this high octane ga game we have right now, because it's pretty oh, even. Oh, he got shield poked right there, 100%. Don't Ooh. die. He died. Oh, you just like. Just levitating there, just pondering your death because you know it's going to happen. As soon as he charged the Firefox, I knew it was over. Yeah. Because so did, so did Beast. The timing is guaranteed. Yeah. You know? Tispai just knows when to release. Oh, and I think I want to remember that Tispai actually beat Beastly recently because I remember him, like, catching Beastly with, like, an up air or something like that. Yeah. Not another one. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that move. <laughs> that move is massive. And anytime you can set that up against Fox, if he fire Foxes, it's the same timing every time. Yeah. He's moving on a consistent just rate. shows he knows that. He knows that. He, he's got that on lock. You got to be built different to get around that one. Yeah. Stop underseating Tispa. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he swaps. Huh. Because that was convincing. He just got what? It wasn't got, that. Well, it, 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 it's got to be the stage. 100%. 100%, he played Ike, felt good about it, and then on Battlefield said, I'm going this way. Does Ike not like that? I think he does, but, you know, maybe, like, I, don't, I couldn't tell you. We'll see. This is Maybe he just wants to try it out, and he has that extra game to play with. Fox is one of one of Pyramethra's worst matchups, right? Yeah, like, I would say, you know, from light and playing with Spargo, that it's like, one of those matchups where see, they just get some other. You see Spargo swap to Cloud for this. Yeah. Pretty consistent. And th this gives me shades of like Fox versus Corrin, you know, ask in four, where it's like this this character is really strong on the ground, but as soon as Fox puts him in the air, what do they do? Yeah. And we're seeing basically with the soft lead here. I mean, oh, I'm sure that up smash is so big. That up smash is so big. <laughs> Look, if it doesn't work the first time, just do it again. Just do it again. Not, not, and not scared either of the falling like near from Pyra too, because that could be tricky. It can be tricky. It's a really that, that's the get that's this is my bubble. Yeah. Get away from me. Ooh. Okay, I love that Beastly recognized. Hey, I'm not close enough to actually punish this. I know that was a moment where you could. Yeah. But if you don't immediately have that ready, don't just rush in and try to you know catch it late. Yeah, a lesser player would have ran in like forward smash or yeah. something. Absolutely gotten blown up. Ooh. Oof. Didn't scoop high enough. From no, the flat. Yeah. That shield is so low that that jab might have just shield poked. Yeah, that's true. I think he did catch an out of shield option. 
Oh the... man, you're just getting tech chase from platform to platform. <laughs> oh, caught the dash back. Yeah. Great aggressive dash. That's a classic tis by dash attack. Yeah. It, it transfers over from both characters. Absolutely. <laughs> from Ike to Pyro. Mm -hmm. Jumps right out of range where tis by, you know, could have been a tech chase situation. Oh, he stays no jump. No down tilt? Yeah, I, I was kind of worried because, I mean, I know down uh, forward smash can like two frame as well, so mm -hmm. I was like, maybe. I wonder if Tispa just, just like, you know, didn't have a button come out or something. It looked like he was really setting up. And didn't quite find it. Now Beastly back on the ground. Does get clipped Man. by the side special. Oh, wow. is he alive? Wow. Crazy that he's alive. Doesn't find the down air. Down smash, that's the weakest hit of down smash I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm I surprised I didn't kill. I don't think I've seen a sour spot. <laughs> did you see characters come with sour spots? I didn't think they did. Yeah. I'm shocked that down smash didn't work. Perfect get up timing from Tispot. Man, Tispot with these placements on the hitboxes. Oh, you're going to be living, but. <gasps> oh, I love the idea from these. Yeah, there. but this is bad. Okay, wow. forward throw doesn't kill yet. Yeah. That's so many good interactions, yeah. it's hard to describe. It's, it's a lot of messiness at the ledge here, yeah. but now that we've got that stock, Fox can apply the damage so incredibly fast. Oh my god, are you dead? I was about to say, I know the, the ceilings are super high on this state, so... Yeah, it definitely shouldn't kill here. Yeah. Fourth throw, gonna set up the ledge trap again, and look, Beastly is so much further ahead now. He just needed that stock and then immediately applying the pressure. What a weird hitbox on up tilt, and that's yeah. the nair you're talking about. That, that falling nair is tough. Like, you just think you're safe, you're just going to be under, because, you know, a lot of our moves are slow. Falling there. Speaking of falling there, that one almost ended the game, but great tech from these. <laughs> that's, that's so silly. Yeah. And you, that's almost always guaranteed, but it's not with Fox. I guess not. Well, let's see those uppies from... Oh. The switch? No. Barely doesn't get the timing. Got to up throw, try to catch the landing. I mean, you're still in this. Fox is really light. Couple swings. Robin's Revolt steal. That did so much knockback. That's yeah. so crazy. Yeah, it instantly gives you center stage, really. Crowd oh, freaking this is scary. out. I'm shocked he even tried to punish that up smash. Yeah. Right the flat. I mean, you got it at this point. He has no jump. <gasps> Tis by new. Oh my god. <gasps> And the back air barely grabbing an ultimate, not a good sign. No, grabbing an ultimate takes so much risk. Yeah. And it's just the most tantalizing thing to want to grab mm -hmm. when they're at the ledge. Mm -hmm. like and I can put almost stage, always gets hard punished. Every time. Yeah. But uh, good stuff. I don't know if we see the switch back. He does have the counter picks on his side. Mm -hmm. He does have switching characters. And it is definitely the Ike. And, and the Ness. I love this, actually. I love huh. this because if you think that the Ike's coming back out. I think the Ike was coming out regardless. I think the Ike was coming out regardless. And we're going back to PS2 where Ness gets so much space control with that PK fire. Yeah. You also have just a much easier time. With Fox, you have to you know, be on your P's and Q's 100%. Oh, no. That's really rough for this guy. Yeah. I mean, that's you don't ever want to see that. No. And Beastly's not going to be a type of person. Because Beastly can go to that defensive option. Yeah. He can definitely just wall you out now with Ness the whole time. Yeah. That's tough. And dude, Ike does also well in this stage, too, with his uh, up air confirm. Mm -hmm. Like, off a grab and, like, nair. Honestly, one of his best stages. Yeah, but... But Ness, Ness has a much more consistent strength here than Fox does. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, Great he's going to need to take this up very early if he wants any chance of winning this set. Down smash poking. No, this is not how you want to see game three start off. No, not if you're a Tiss by fan. Beastly going wild with it. Why not? Three stocks for one? Mm -hmm. It's the worst thing can happen. You don't get a clip? Right. You tried. He's living that. Yeah. For sure. Back the ledge. Yeah, definitely going to... Search for that back air, but it's all this, these hitboxes beastly throwing out. Can't get in. Not quite able to find the roll goes for the double. Oh, this is it. It's, yeah, that's everything. God, that was really a sucky game three. <laughs>
Uh, game one was really cool. Yeah. Game two was insane. Yeah, that's what I was like, the lead game two, game two felt like a game three. <laughs> yeah. And then it, it just petered out. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but... I mean, sometimes you have that mm -hmm. those slip-ups, and they'll, they'll cost you games like that. They will. You know, you your finger slips, and you is, don't hit that button that you want to hit. You can't make a single mistake. Yeah. You can't. It's very, there's there's varying degrees of mistakes that are okay. You know, if I take a small mistake and I take, like, 50% for it, that's one thing. But whole stock was just gone. Yeah. yeah. Whole momentum shifted in Beastly's favor, but we're going to shift this set. Yeah. You know, shift, shift this stream. Into a quick break. We'll be back with more Super Smash Brothers action right after this. Stay tuned. Definitely. I'll go after you. Do you have to go to the bathroom? All right, then I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Happy lit. Brent says he's going to be here in a little bit, too. He said that 40 minutes ago. Okay. So, we might have a little rotation going. Uh, 